Pisces, welcome to your weekly Sidereal Astrology forecast for April 4th through the 10th of 2016. I'm Athen, and this is for Sidereal Astrology, different from mainstream astrology. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out the link because the signs are different. All right, so Pisces this week, we got a new moon on Thursday, and this is in your sign of Pisces. So happy birthday for those of you who have your birthdays this week, watching for your sun sign. Um, but for all of you, whether you're watching this for your moon or your ascendant, it is now a time of new beginnings for the next six months and really the next solar cycle, the next 12 months of your life. So it's an excellent time with the new moon in the first house to set intentions, all right, to set these, these goals, these plans, to think about your self-image, and again, where you want to cultivate these things that are important to you over this next year. So this new moon is going to be forming a few aspects. It's going to be trining up to Saturn, squaring up to Pluto, and also uh, conjoining up to Uranus, which has been this freedom really coming through yourself. And it just so happens that the only planet making aspects this week is the sun. And so the same aspects associated with the new moon are the aspects of the week. And they're kind of building the story in a sequence uh, this week as we approach that new moon on Thursday and then after that new moon on Thursday. So it all starts here with around Tuesday when the sun starts to trine up to Saturn. And this has been a Saturn in your ninth house really helping you take the serious and patient approach to your life path, to maybe studying philosophy or spirituality, or right? taking the grounded approach to what is normally a very spirited, free-spirited, adventurous part of the chart, right? And so it's not, you know, it's a fire energy, so it's a bit different for Saturn to be here. It's like at some point, you know, it's easy to have adventurousness, but then when Saturn comes in here, it may not. And, and it might be easy for you at other times to, um, you know, type, tap into that expansive view of life and to study and understand what life is about. And sometimes when Saturn comes here, it's a bit limited. But what's, what, what it's doing is it's helping you really ground and discipline your worldview and your life in general and the life path. And a lot of that's reflecting right now with Saturn retrograde. So it's good to be reflective about where you're headed. What's the life path? What is life about? And perhaps anything else that you might be involved with in terms of travel, long distance matters, etc. And this is also a good area of motivation for you because you got Mars here. Okay, so you guys do have a bit of motivation and drive, I think, right now to either uh, expand your horizons, whether it's internally or externally. And again, a trine up to the new moon does suggest that there could be a maturity coming strong here, helping you with this now new you and these new goals that are shaping up for you this week. Now, in terms of the square from Pluto, this is about deep change. All right, and so this is going to be deep change with you. But this has been a Pluto in your 10th house. And Pluto shows where we have fear, where we have deep unconscious you know, attachments because of the fear. And every opportunity with Pluto is an opportunity to let go of those things, those fears, and to accept them. And then through that acceptance comes, of course, the transformation and the non-attachment. And we have to be willing to let them go. And so this might be relating to your career or your public image, or your public life, allowing the ego not to get a hold of it, attached to it, because that's what's creating the blockages or can create the blockages. And the square from the first house is, again, suggesting non-attachment to these goals right now or non-attachment to the self and whatever it is that you're working with as best as you can. Because it's through, again, non-attachment that the real power of Pluto comes through which is not the egos, it's not ours, it's not our power. It's just God working through us or the universe working through us, however you see that. And so um, stripping away any attachments to these two areas, basically your productive life and un also yourself, is uh, very powerful with this and then that can really help integrate these two areas. Now in terms of this new moon with Uranus, there's a lot of new beginnings now in terms of being your true self. It's been very it's been huge for you for the past roughly six years for you to really access your individuality, to be your true self, express your true self. And now there's a new moon around this. So there's new beginnings planted with where you can have more freedom of individuality, freedom of self, right? See things in a different way. Be unorthodox. Be different as we all are. And um, now this week isn't that energetic with it. It's just a good time to sit with this and examine and think about these things. Again, where you can have that mature grounded approach to the life path, as well as the deep change with self and any attachments you might have to the productive stuff, and also the freedom, right? Freedom of self, 
where you can really be your true self and allow that true light to shine through. So good areas to work on. Then after the new moon over the weekend, when the sun goes over Uranus, I think really mixing things up could be inspirational, could be, but there could be some insights. And again, just seeing where you can have this uh, peaceful acceptance thing because it's all in your sign, right? So all, all this energy right now is all about going with the flow, having acceptance, all right, which is a, a big element of who you are, depending on your sun sign, your moon sign. If it's your ascendant sign, these, these are qualities you're developing, all right? And I think you guys can be enjoying this stuff with Venus here as well. So Venus in the first house is you guys could be looking good, feeling good, maybe enjoying those connections and those relationships. Now, one thing I do want to mention is that Mercury is going into your second house earlier in the week, Tuesday and Wednesday. So you'll probably notice your mind is shifting more in terms of maybe uh, thinking about your finances, thinking about your sense of self-worth or your material security or your self-reliance. So some good areas to work with. Mercury is going to go retrograde here later in the week or later in the month. And so this week, it's a good time to kind of experiment with it, try new things, not to set any major long-term things just yet when it comes to this area, because it's going to be an area of reflection for you later on. All right, so the big energy is going to be this new moon in your first house, lowering of energies around Thursday, good time to sit with this stuff and really set those intentions for the long term. All right, Pisces, so have an excellent week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next week.